what was the church like when I came here? Um, well, this was a, a very traditional Methodist church which had been very much minister-led, um, a church in a, very much a working class community and the local people would have lower levels of education. Uh, a community that is quite disempowered, a lot of people with low self-confidence, low self-esteem, reluctant to lead. And so when I first came here, I suppose my main aim was to raise up leadership. Because there was really not a lot of engagement other than Sunday, midweek, choir, that sort of thing. Um, but we've seen leaders raise, rise up. Um, leaders who are, who couldn't, people who couldn't have even led a Bible reading in church are now leading Bible studies, <laughs> prayer groups, leading a prayer ministry, praying for people at the end of the service. And our work was very much at the start focused on prayer and a lot of teaching around prayer. And really, I suppose our mission statement is loving God, sharing Jesus, caring for others. And so we focused on each part of that. What did it mean to love God? Where was our passion for God? What was our hunger for God? Because it's out of our own passion for God that our mission will come. And so as, as we developed that, then we began to look like, what does sharing Jesus mean? And so we began to go out onto the street and just give away things. So we gave away love hearts. Uh, on St Valentine's Day and, and one man cried because nobody had ever given him anything and we didn't say anything other than we just want to give you a gift from the church and we're there if you need us and conversations just happen on the street and, and the church we'd now say those days are some of the best days that they have just sharing with the people on the road. Let me tell you about Jim. Jim's a local guy from here. Jim is an alcoholic and uh, his marriage fell apart because of his drinking and Jim tried to commit suicide three times. He heard about our cafe here and some of the women invited him to come along because Jim is a trained chef. But Jim couldn't hold down his job because of his drinking problem. So Jim came along here and, and began to cook for us. We have to manage Jim at times, but Jim would say that the, it's been this cafe and this church that has actually saved his life. Um, and he would call this his church and um, this his community. Um, I just I just read on a balloon there because we had a discovery service on Sunday and I just read on a balloon, you know, um, how, what are people celebrating about our church now? A change, a turnaround, that they're a, a, a place where welcome is found, where engagement with the community happens, where they where they feel empowered to lead. And I think that's for me the transformation. And a community that Again, we, we had a, a, a day, a drumming circle here with 60 people, maybe 70 from the community in for the drumming circle and a barbecue. And people who were unchurched, most of them unchurched, just saying this is great. We just love to come in here and we do more of these days. And, and those are the stories where church and community are beginning to really um, look out for each other and understand that each has something to offer the other.